Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in our last video we looked at it, creating our web application and do login with Azure B2C. I went ahead and I added the company branding so you just you just add the logo for it to use. But it still doesn't feel like a fully custom page, you know, it still looks kind of like the Azure way of doing things. So today we're gonna look at customizing the UI. Uh, we're not I'm just going to show how to do it. I'm not actually going to make it look pretty because I'm not good at UI. But uh, so let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our Azure portal. We're going to be in the B2C domain. So the one that we created for B2C, and we're going to click on the Azure B2C. In here, we're going to go to user flows. And we're going to create our first user flow. And in page layouts, we can see that uh, sign up or sign in page, it's not a custom page URI. So if we go here and we see what the HTML that they offer, we can see that it's basically the, the blue background and your company logo. And that's it. And then they fill in the first name, last name, and all that stuff. So we can modify all this stuff by like you just get the source for for the code. I already got it in here and I created a new folder and as always all the code is in GitHub so feel free to go to GitHub although this one is easier if you just copy from your own. Um, and in here I create, copied the source and I just added uh, h1 to show that this is the custom page that we want to show. And that's it. If you want to change like the button, like so it's not blue or like change the color, you can change the CSS here. I'm leaving all default, like the whole point of this video is just to show that you can change it, but you can go ahead and change the CSS or anything to make it look more custom. So now that we do that, uh, if we go back here, uh, the requirement is that it's an HTTPS uh, hosted page. So we just have to go here and to do that, I created a blob storage, uh, which is probably the best way to keep static files in an HTTPS manner in Azure. And it does require that it has course enabled. This is for like making sure that the cross-origin resources are just coming from the right place. So in here, we're just saying the only website that can request this is Coding Flamingo B2C B2Clogin.com. Um, and we are only requesting get options and put and all the headers and all the exposed headers and the max age of 200. This one is from the documentation. They recommend it to be 200. You have to enable this. If not, it's going to give you a script error. Um, so now let's go to our container that we created. So I just went ahead and created the container called B2C login. Um, and I actually uploaded the, the file already. And as you can see here, um, as you can see here, if we scroll down, it's going to be the one that we edited to be custom page. So in here you can see it says custom page. We'll, we'll add an extra exclamation point just to, to make sure that we, we're, we have the latest and now we're gonna get the, the link to it because we have to put it in our page. And we save this and the fastest way to test any of your B2C stuff, as you can see here, is now has a custom page. We just do run user flow and basically it mimics like your website sending it to it. So we're gonna run it. And as you can see, it says custom page and the two exclamation points. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.